Welcome to our channel Worth View. In today's video, we will be discussing interview questions and answers for the role of prompt engineering. Whether you are a seasoned professional looking to brush up on your knowledge or a beginner aiming to break into this exciting field, this video is for you. We will cover key interview topics and provide comprehensive answers to help you succeed in your prompt engineering interviews. Let's get started. What is prompt engineering? Prompt engineering is the process of designing and refining prompts, questions or instructions, to elicit specific responses from AI models. It is a powerful technique that can be used to improve the performance of AI models on a variety of tasks, including text generation, image generation, and translation. The goal of prompt engineering is to provide the AI model with the information it needs to understand the task and generate the desired output. What are the different types of prompts? There are many different types of prompts that can be used to control the output of LLMs. Some common types of prompts include Directive prompts. These prompts provide clear and specific instructions to the model about what kind of response is expected. For instance, write a paragraph summarizing the main themes of the novel, 1984, by George Orwell. Incomplete prompts. These prompts intentionally leave out certain information, requiring the model to fill in the gaps. For example, the capital of France is? Conversation prompts. These prompts involve simulating a conversation between the user and the model. The conversation can be a back-and-forth exchange, and prompt engineers often use special tokens to differentiate between user and model utterances. Story continuation prompts. These prompts involve asking the model to continue a story or generate a sequel based on a given starting point. For instance, after defeating the dragon, the hero decided to. Creative prompts. These prompts encourage the model to come up with creative or imaginative responses, often pushing the boundaries of its capabilities. For example, in a world where gravity is reversed. Question answering prompts. These prompts are designed to extract specific information from the model. Users might ask, what is the boiling point of water? And expect a concise answer. How do you choose the right prompt for the task? The right prompt for the task depends on a number of factors, including the desired output, the capabilities of the LLM, and the context in which the prompt is being used. In general, you should choose a prompt that is clear, concise, and relevant to the task at hand. You should also make sure that the prompt is within the capabilities of the LLM. How do you write a clear and concise prompt? When writing a prompt, it is important to be clear and concise. To achieve this, you need to be specific about the task and context by using simple language. The more specific you are, the better the AI model will be able to understand what you want. For example, instead of asking, write a poem, you could ask, write a haiku about a cat. Avoid using jargon or technical terms that the AI model may not understand. Use imperative language and provide any constraints or requirements. Additionally, include examples and anticipate the model's behavior. Test and iterate with different prompt variations, considering response length and potential biases. Avoid leading questions, and before finalizing, review and revise the prompt to ensure accuracy and clarity. How do you iterate on a prompt? If the prompt is not generating the desired output, you can iterate on it to improve its performance. You can do this by making changes to the prompt, such as adding or removing keywords, changing the constraints, or providing additional examples. You can also try using a different type of prompt altogether. What is zero-shot prompting? Zero-shot prompting is when the model generates a response for a task without any specific examples provided, relying on its pre-trained knowledge. What is few-shot prompting? Few-shot prompting involves providing a small number of examples, prompts and corresponding responses, to guide the model's behavior on a specific task. What is one-shot prompting? One-shot prompting is similar to few-shot prompting but involves providing only a single example to guide the model's response on a particular task. What do the terms, user, assistant, and, system, signify within the context of the chat GPT API? In the context of the chat GPT API, the roles of, user, assistant, and, system, refer to different participants in a conversation that guide the interaction with the language model. 
Here's the meaning of each role. User. The user role represents the person or entity initiating the conversation and providing instructions or queries to the language model. The user sets the context for the conversation by starting with a prompt or question. Assistant. The assistant role refers to the language model itself, which generates responses based on the instructions and context provided by the user. The assistant role generates the main content of the conversation, responding to user inputs and providing information or answers. System. The system role is an optional role that provides high-level guidance or instructions to the assistant during the conversation. The system can guide the assistant's behavior by giving context, specifying roles, or suggesting how to respond. The system's role is to influence the conversation without generating the primary content. What is temperature in the LLM models? The temperature in LLM models is a parameter that controls the randomness of the output generated by the model. A higher temperature will result in more random or creative output, while a lower temperature will result in less random output and more deterministic. What do parameters like temperature, max tokens, top P, and top K control in text generation with language models? These terms are commonly used settings or parameters when fine-tuning or configuring language models, especially in the context of text generation tasks. Max output tokens, the maximum number of tokens that the LLM will generate. Temperature, a parameter that controls the randomness of the output generated by the model. Top K, a parameter that controls the diversity of the output generated by the model. Top P, a parameter that controls the fluency of the output generated by the model. How do you deal with ambiguity in prompts? One way to deal with ambiguity in prompts is to provide more context. For example, if you are asking an LLM to write a poem about love, you could provide examples of poems about love. You could also provide constraints, such as requiring the poem to rhyme or to be a certain length. Another way to deal with ambiguity in prompts is to use multiple prompts. For example, you could ask the LLM to write a poem about love, and then you could also ask the LLM to write a poem about romance. This will help the LLM to better understand the desired output. How do you handle unexpected output from large language models? Unforeseen responses can occur due to the model's complexity. One way to handle unexpected output from LLMs is to iterate on the prompt. Review the prompt to ensure clarity. Adjust the prompt structure or wording if needed. Include additional constraints or requirements to guide the model's output. How do you address potential biases in prompt engineering and ensure fairness in model responses? Addressing bias in prompts involves crafting instructions that are neutral and unbiased. It's important to avoid sensitive topics, stereotypes, and leading language. Regularly review outputs for potential biases and refine prompts as needed to ensure fair and ethical responses. Can you explain the difference between rule-based and machine learning-based prompt engineering? Rule-based prompt engineering involves manually defining rules and templates for model behavior, offering high control and interpretability. In contrast, machine learning-based prompt engineering relies on data-driven learning, offering more adaptability but potentially sacrificing some interpretability in exchange for greater automation and versatility. The choice between these approaches depends on the specific requirements of the task and the trade-offs between control and flexibility. Thank you for watching. If you found this content helpful, we'd appreciate it if you could like our video and consider subscribing to our channel.